πικρές και με βάσανα. I joined the trio of Christos, his skipper Marquis and Boyan 12 days ago. And I am keen to understand how we today are connected to our past, because that is what Christos is exploring on his pilgrimage ritual trip through the historical places of the Aegean. And here are our news from Limnos. On this island, Christos, doctor and psychiatrist, is guided in his search by an ancient story. Philoctete was a held from the Trojans Greek. And one day, as he was in Limnos, he was a piece of water from a slang. In the Odyssey, Homer tells the story of Philoctetes. He was a great hero of the Trojan War. One day, he was bitten by a snake, an incurable wound. And the generals, also Ulysses, betrayed him and decided to leave him to die on the island of Limnos. Philoctetes was very weak, but just when his life seemed to come to an end, he took some clay from the ground in the cave where he was hiding. He put it onto his wound and it healed. Throughout history, the earth from that spot has been used as a medicine. And the first tablets of history were produced here, small, round cylinders with a stamp on top. In the damalige Zeit, in the classic Zeit, sind the first tabletten, hilfstabletten, produziert worden. What is mythology and what is history? There is a course of abstand. Of course, Christos says, there is a gap between mythology and history. But there must be some truth about mythology, for in their subconscious, all humans carry something from their past. Whether it is DNA, Christos cannot tell. But in some way, he is sure characteristics and also knowledge from ancient times are inscribed in our bodies. Christos tells us, when walking through the pilgrimage places in Limnos, he did not want to approach them with his intellect, but to simply feel instead. What he experienced in Philoctetes' cave or on the holy mountain, he calls ephthemonia, a subtle feeling of happiness and bliss, which fills you completely with the sensation of being alive. A bit like flying. The knowledge about Philoctetes and the healing properties of Terra Limnea was nearly fully lost during the last century. Therefore, Christos met Dina, the potterer, one of the few who are still interested. And while talking to her, he had an idea on the spot organizing an international conference. Also, es kann nicht sein, dass das die Limnea je seit der mythologischen Zeit, der klassischen Zeit, der römischen Zeit it simply cannot be, he says, that from ancient times to the Roman Empire, throughout the Ottoman Empire, up to the birth of modern Greece, Terra Limnea was used as a medicine and today nobody cares. That is why the 84-year-old would like to invite people, historians, archaeologists, pharmacologists, psychiatrists and even tourists to come together for scientific research and to make the earth from Limnos known again.